Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Mike here. Hope you're having a great day or night. Today's not starting off very well because somebody late last night between 3 and 4.15 was on the side of my house taking some junky junk. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what's missing. There's one tote and then they took a bunch of dishes, but they also took one piece I needed for a piece of furniture. So I got to deal with that and see what else is missing. Other than that, uh, might hit up a couple garage sales since it is Friday. We got to hit the storage unit because we... Uh, Got to clear out that last part of the unit, and then we got to dig through the rest of the mumbo jumbo. Um, so let's see what we do today. You guys were asking in yesterday's video, what was I drinking? Uh, juicing. I just my problem machine right here. Uh, been juicing for many, many years. It's very healthy for you. It, it tastes good and uh, actually fills you up. But here it is, the breakdown on it: oranges, kale, spinach. There is also apples in there, a cucumber, and carrots. Juice it all up, throw it on ice, and G to G, good to go. Well, it looks like we've got a yard sale with a bunch of junk. Who, a store washing guy? Well, that was the guy that used to have a resale store in town, and uh, I don't know why if you have signs up. <laughs> He's like, I'm not ready. I'm like, well, I'm here, so uh, it's not like it's that early. It's 7.30. Get your stuff together, man. But, uh, so, yeah, mostly all his stuff from his thrift shop there. I didn't see anything. Um, he still had a bunch of stuff to go through, but uh, just craziness. Well, what do we have here? I see some neons. Maybe I can find a garage sale where there's actually something I can buy. Ooh, we got two sales. Yard sale number one. Yard sale number two. The question of the hour is... Are these signs old? Because this, there's no indication where to go. Oh, let's just keep driving. Well, those signs must have been old because I don't see uh, any sales. And there's nothing over here. Craziness. All right, this neighborhood's getting a little crazy. This is the seventh sign I've seen. <laughs> and I've been driving around, but there's nothing. Absolutely no sale for Mike today. What is going on? It's the twilight zone of reselling garage sales. In regards to the entertainment center, I put it up on Facebook last night. And uh, this morning when we were at the facility, somebody came by and snagged it up for free. Looks like Steve's got a long way to go moving this thing. I told him to put it back by the car and I'll push it. But he doesn't like to listen. Sir, can I ask what you're doing? I'm taking my portable toilet and I'm moving to an upgraded condo. And I'm gonna have a little hot tub. Living the life, huh? I'm gonna have a little uh, European kitchen. As soon as I get my cable hooked up. Living like a rock star. I'm good to go. All right, so I gotta lug this all the way down. Not that far, just about in my van. Not bad. Oh, what else? He's got a lot of stuff he's showing me in here. Hey. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Gotta look around to find junk. It's all stuff left over from storage units. Pretty crazy. Nothing. Well, that works for me. So, uh, what I'll do is I'm going up this weekend. I'll talk to her. She, she should be there. Cool. Uh, and then uh, what I'll do then is we'll go ahead and uh, I'll just try to see if I can see nothing to take pictures of. She, I can take pictures? And it, it, I'll look in there. If you say it's worth 200 bucks, it's worth a lot more than that. All right. If you think it's worth 200 bucks, yeah. hell, you can pay for it. We'll right. just reimburse it. Right. Right off the line, you just can't pay. Really? I used to stand here and listen to all those fish stories. Romeo. 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 All right, so we just got back home from the storage unit facility. Working on a great relationship with the uh, manager of the facility, he is allowing us to kind of look through all the mumbo jumbo that's at that facility. He's a storage unit buyer himself, 
So uh, he's got a lot of stuff that he's looking to sell. We're going to head back next week and look at more stuff. Uh, supposedly a bunch of vinyl records, more video games, so I'm really excited about that. But he's also got some connections with other storage facilities in Tucson that uh, we're working on some deals right now as we speak. Uh, making a deal about 12 or 15 units, somewhere around there, for about 50 bucks a unit. It's going to be a lot of stuff, but we're going to network with him and uh, see what we could do with it all. Uh, What's going to be neat about that is he sees the managing guy at that facility. We can store a lot of that stuff there, pick it up there, run us through it there, list it there on Craigslist, and, and have people come in and out and buy the stuff, et cetera, et cetera. And obviously give him a cut of what's going on as well. So really cool guy. He uh, let us go into his uh, living quarters, which I thought was really nice inside of uh, the facility there. And um, I'm not going to say what we picked up. Um, well, I'll, say, I'll show you guys what I picked up, but I'm not going to say the prices. It's just an amazing deal. The guy's a really stand-up guy, good guy, super appreciate it. And that's what's, uh, that's what's important when you're going and buying storage units or, or you're working with people at flea markets or auctions, is always network with people. You never know what they're doing and um, be a great way to source product, build relationships. They make money, you make money, life's happy, right? Here's what we picked up from that storage facility. Uh, some extra stuff here that we paid for today. Again, I'm not gonna mention the prices, guys, because uh, he does watch the videos, and I don't want to, uh, you know, we got a deal, he got a deal. Uh, so we worked out a price, and that's how it's working out. But this uh, Cali Phone 1455K uh, record player. It's got the box and everything like this. I'm going to keep this here because, uh, oh, just lost the top. It was missing one of the brackets there. So uh, I'm using it just for testing purposes with my vinyl records because um, this has a better sound. Believe it or not, than that cheap Jensen one that I'm always playing on. Plus, I don't like to. I got a nice vinyl record player, but um, I haven't. I don't have it hooked up. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna use it for testing purposes, and then eventually, somewhere down the line, I'll sell it. Picked up this here. I uh, just saw it sitting on the counter when I was screened over when you saw the video, and I'm like, uh, "How much?" <laughs> we worked out a deal for that. Uh, it's a uh, Super Nintendo Battle Toads and Battle Maniacs. Uh, he's we're going to find out Tuesday how many more games he's got. He says he's got buckets full, so we'll see. This was uh, there. It's brand new in the box. It's a Canon ES8400V. That's in really good shape. I also got a small little bundle of CDs, DVDs, and some video games. All disc games. There's Xbox and Xbox 360. Nothing crazy. Nothing worth showing, to be honest with you. Um, but, yeah, you know, just uh, pretty good finds here. We're going to make some money off these. We'll list these at some point here. Uh, next 24 hours and, and get them sold so all right let's get into what i sold on amazon this came out of that dvd disc only haul this is the howling 2 your sister is a werewolf dvd disc only this sold for eight dollars and 29 cents shipped this also came out of that dvd disc only haul from goodwill it's abraham lincoln versus zombies what kind of movies are these anyway don't matter it's sold for six dollars and 39 cents shipped and the last item I sold on Amazon is this paperback that came out of that book lot that I have. It is uh, from 1977, a book called Trinity. This sold for $6.12 shipped. Picked this up for a dollar at a thrift shop. It's a Disney store. Tigger Winnie the Pooh retro button front, uh, or button up. Baseball jersey size medium. Took 90 days, or it took around 96 days to sell on eBay. Sold for $25.03 shipped. Moving on to what's sold on Steve's eBay. This came out of a storage unit recently. It's a Kobe Bryant women's basketball Adidas. NBA Lakers sewn pink jersey, size large. Headed for $50 or best offer. Listed it last night and uh, this morning it sold. Took an offer of $25 shipped for it. This also came out of a recent storage unit. Listed uh, just uh, earlier in the week. It's a Denver Broncos NFL Reebok Camo Digital Salute Military One Size Fit Flex Fit Hat. Had it for $15 with free shipping with uh, best offer option on it. Got an offer for $10 and we took it. On to what we were talking about yesterday about the used uh, panties and thongs. The listing did get removed from eBay. It was up since Sunday though. But obviously once the video went live, somebody reported it and... Um, it's a touchy subject, that's for sure, with the used underwear. We didn't think we were being uh, tasteless with any of this, because if you do search on eBay, just type in used panties or used underwear. There's four or 5,000 used listings up there, and some of them are pretty grotesque. Um, you can go if you want to look it up for yourself and see what's going on. Um, you know, it is what it is, and there's like five or 6,000 that sold. So uh, 
you know, obviously eBay doesn't want us to have this particular listing up there, which is fine. We'll find another way to sell them. Um, so it's just, uh, I would just, I, we thought it was funny because Steve texted me, goes, up. Oh, they took it down, and it was literally within 40 minutes of me uploading yesterday's video, but that's fine. Um, you know, like I said before, you know, people were saying, you got to sell those used underwear on eBay. And uh, I was laughing. You know, I, we threw the last batch out, and Steve's like, I'm listing them. So, uh, yeah, not sure what it is. It's kind of a controversial topic, that's for sure. But uh, you can go and search it right now on eBay and and uh, see the grossness. Uh, I think so, you'll see our title here, and this is the listing that was up that uh, ours wasn't as grotesque as what other people are doing. eBay, if you're listening, do ourselves, do everybody a favor. If you can't sell these things online, why don't you remove all of those listings that are currently up there, the 3,000 plus that are up there, and uh, if you, you know, be, be fair. If you're going to knock down one person's listing, knock them all down. All right, appreciate you guys watching today's video. Going to be uh, doing some more work here. Heading to Steve's at some point here. I got to take some stuff. He's having a garage sale tomorrow. Got a lot of stuff to list. We're up to about $7,800 of uh, stuff totally listed on Steve's eBay for trying to get to that uh, goal mark of $24,000 in the next uh, 70, 60 plus days, give or take. Um, going to stay busy then, listing. I'm also going to get uh, like four cases of Schlitz beer. And uh, probably, I don't know, eight or nine buckets of chicken wings. I'm going to plant my ass on the side of my house here with my gun and wait for these people to come by to try to rob me again. Just joking, but maybe I'm not. So, appreciate you guys watching today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, please hit the thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment down below if you've ever tried to list uh, panties, <laughs> used panties before on eBay. And love to hear what your experience is. Hopefully you guys are out there making money. Hopefully you're getting stuff listed. The weekend's here. Hopefully you guys are doing very, very well. Be great. Appreciate the support, guys. Till next time I'm out here, peace. Vlog.